for Megan, this has been quite some year. She has a new husband, new country, new job, new family, new life, new baby. So in part, this colorful, vibrant tour was a chance for her to focus on the work she wants to do. Like here in Nianga, where a charity called the Justice Desk, supported by the Queen's Commonwealth Trust, is teaching women how literally to fight back against endemic violence. Oh my goodness, it's, um, it's the most inspiring. We just got here and to see everything that they're doing, but also that it's not just the, the girls that are feeling empowered, it's all the role of the men and the young boys who are also helping them. Most of the work was really uplifting, for sure. But there was another story in this film, too, of the true pressures of life in the spotlight and the toll it has taken on them both. Look, any woman, when they're, especially when they're pregnant, you're really vulnerable. And so that was made really challenging. And then when you have a newborn, you know, you mm -hmm. It's a long time ago, but I remember, yeah. yeah. You know, and especially as a woman, it's really, it's a lot. So you add this on top of just trying to be a new mom or trying to be a newlywed. It's, um, yeah, well, I guess, and also thank you for asking, because not many people have asked if I'm okay. But it's, uh, it's a very real thing to be going through behind the scenes. And the answer is, would it be fair to say not really? okay since it's really been a struggle yes listen it's been really obvious on this talk your love of this continent is this a part of your future do you think do you intend to spend more time here even live here perhaps for a while um i don't know where i don't know where we could live in africa at the moment yeah. you know just come from cape town yeah that would be an amazing place for us to be able to base ourselves yeah. of course it would um but with all the problems that are going on there i just don't see how we'd be able to to really make as much difference as we want to yeah. without the issues and the judgment yeah. of how how we would be with, our, with, those, yeah. with those surroundings. I think it's yeah. a very hard place to live when you know what's going on, but then you're sort of, again, slightly disconnected yeah. from yeah. it. So, look, our, the rest of our lives, especially for our, you know, our life's work, um, will be predominantly focused on Africa, on conservation. Um, you know, there are 19 Commonwealth countries or something uh, mm. across this continent. So. There's a lot of um, there's a lot of there's a lot of things to be done, and there's a lot of problems here. But there's also huge potential for solutions. Part of this role and part of this job and this family being under the pressure that it's under, inevitably, you know, stuff um, stuff happens. But look, we're we're brothers. We're, we'll always be brothers. And um, we're certainly on different paths at the moment. But I will always be there for him, and as I know, he'll always be there for me. Um, you know, we don't see each other as much as we as much as we used to because we're so busy. Um, but you know, I, I love him dearly, and you know, the majority of the stuff is probably well, the majority of stuff is created out of nothing. Um, but you know, it's just as I said, as brothers, you know, you have good days, you have bad days. It's families for you.